right, so we're lucky enough to have a day counter in the top right con- uh, corner whenever we're going to land, as well as how many parts are left in each area to find. So, for example, at the impact site, there's one more part there. Uh, it looked like there was nowhere else for us to explore with with what we have so far. So let's not go back to the impact site. After all, Alamar wrote in his, his journal on his computer that we were going to the Forest of Hope. Here we go, day two. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pikmin's onion. Being alone on this strange planet makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the onion and press A. Alright, so as I mentioned before, each day after the first actually has an in-game timer. The day will end if I fool around too much. So we need to be on top of our, on top of our game. We need to be on our P's and Q's here. Uh, once again, it's about 13 minutes. It's about 13 minutes, so we need to manage our time. You can monitor, you can monitor how much time is left in the day by the sun moving across the top of the screen. Big man, I need you guys to get to work. Destroy this wall for me, please. Hey, why aren't you working? You should be working. There you go. Go to work. While they're over there, I'll wait for, I'll wait for uh these Pikmin to sprout, and we'll bring them over too. Shit, 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 shit. We're already fucking up. Zoom back out, please. Zoom back out. There we go. Now break the wall down, fam. Interesting that there's a flower here, but the pellet is yellow instead of red. I wonder if that's a sign. It's definitely a sign. See, there's nothing hidden back here for me. Come on, Pikmin. I need you guys to work faster. I know you guys are... I, I'll try and help you. I know you guys are doing a lot. But I need you guys to work a little bit faster. Come on. Come on. Come on, Picks. Come on, Pikmin. All right, I know you guys see that... That fellow there the towards the middle of the screen. He's definitely an enemy. Walls down. Let's go. We're going to swarm him. See, we may be small, but in large numbers, we are powerful. We are mighty. All right. With him dead, we can bring him back to the ship just like we would any of these pellets. We can take him back, and and it will, it will create more Pikmin. So while they're all heading back, I don't really... I could keep up with them, but I don't really need to. There's many other things that I should be handling out here. Come on, y'all. Attack. There we go. There we go. There's many other things I could handle out here that's actually much better for me to worry about. Oh, did we lose a Pikmin or is that him dying? I think that's I think that's the symbol for the enemy dying. I need to protect my Pikmin and make sure they're okay on their way back, though. That's the only thing. Come on, y'all. Get these pellets. After... after uh. After we take these spellers back, then we'll head back to the ship and get more Pikmin. Because our numbers are low. We only got, what, three Pikmin running around with it? Hey, if you don't... Come on, fam. Our numbers are really low. And we got a lot of Pikmin grown outside of... Uh, outside on the ground. Is he 20 Pikmin? We should be okay with, with the 20. We got, what, about 20 in the ground? We'll be okay. We'll be okay for a while. So, no, I know I didn't cover this in the last episode. Uh, normally, the number that's on the pellet is how many Pikmin will grow or will come out of the onion uh, once the pellet is inside. But if you take the pellet to the proper onion, if you take the pellet to the onion whose color matches it, you will actually get double that amount. So if we take this 10 to the red onion, then we will get double that amount. As opposed to taking these yellow pellets to our onion. Instead of getting two with these, we'd only get one. 
I said, I'm going to let these grow here for a while. I'm not entirely crunching for... Actually, let's pull these out. Since we're getting double, let's pull these out now. Or I'll pull these out as quickly as I can. Because our numbers will, in fact, double. I'm sorry. It's not double. It's it's uh like it's 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 a percentage bonus. I think. I think it's a percent bonus rounded upward. Uh, that bell that rang let us know that a fourth of the uh, excuse me a fourth of the day has passed already. So we've already spent a fourth of our day. I need you guys to swarm these fellows. Swarm these fellows. There we go. All right, take them back. Take them back. We haven't lost any pigment yet. That's actually pretty good. All right, what is this? Why, it's the eternal fuel dynamo. It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my fight for survival a bit easier. Again, it's another ship part. Let's carry it back. It requires 40 Pikmin. How wonderful. Okay, hey, you. I know you want to come on with me, but I need you to stay out here. I need to know that I have enough Pikmin out here. I'll pick some more from the ground and then we can carry that back. See, it's time management. Had I known, had I known, I would have saved a lot of time and just brought them all with me. It's okay. It's okay. That one's different. That one's different. I don't know if you guys noticed it. If you heard the sound, but that one is different. Let's see. I know there's a way for me to choose which Pikmin I throw. In it? I could have sworn there was. Whatever. It'll be okay. Okay. So, because these Pikmin are more or less plant-like creatures, uh, they have the leaves on their head. But if you leave them in the ground long enough, their leaf will turn into a bud, a flower bud. Uh, that bud more or less just means that they're stronger and faster than the ones with the leaves. It's 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 marginally faster and stronger. Is mar I say marginally because it it doesn't truly matter. I, I wouldn't say I shouldn't say it doesn't matter. It does matter, but it's not enough to where like one really changes the game. Hey man, hey man. Oh, shoot, we got an idle one carrying stuff. That's weird. That's weird. All right, so we got all our Pikmin carrying this ship part. Effectively, as long as we bring back at least one ship part every day, we'll complete our goal, right? So any day where we bring back a ship part is a day where nothing was lost. All right. Eternal Fuel Dynamo. This should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered two out of 30 parts. If I could just find three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. If I'm not mistaken, increasing the capabilities means that we will be able to go to another area, which is, which is good. Which is good. We actually need to unlock all the areas as quickly as possible. All right, we're going to do a little bit more management. There's no enemies on the other side of this bridge. So what I'm going to do is have them carry. I'm sorry. Have them. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It sounded like I sound like I threw them in the water. It's not like I threw them in the water. That's not what I need in my life. I'm going to put about 20 here. And then I'll have some. Uh-oh. Uh oh! What is he buzzing? What is he buzzing? I have the other ones running with me for a little while. Like I said, we've already accomplished a goal today, so we should be fine for a while. Let's see if we can take out this huge enemy. Come on, we should be okay. We should be able to handle it. Oh shoot! I forgot. I forgot the optimal way to to fight this man. Oh, we can't attack the feet. I'm a clown. We gotta attack him from the back, Jack. There we go. Okay, so we lost some Pikmin uh, because I am a cloud. Come on, y'all. Uh, let's see. I don't think we can interact with this yet, can we? No, we can't. Y'all get these pellets. Bring these pellets back, fam. We're bringing pellets back. 
And then the rest of you can go help with that bridge. The rest of you can go out there and help with that bridge, which is actually halfway done. My clock has indicated the coming of noon. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly. So, it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Across the top of my monitor are the sun meter and day display. At the bottom are my space suit damage meter and Pikmin gauges. From the left, these numbers reflect Pikmin under my command, Pikmin in the field, and total Pikmin, including those in onions. To adjust my monitor, I can, pre I can press L to rotate the camera, R to zoom, and Z to change the viewpoint. I can also press Y to view a detailed computer analysis. Okay, that's basically just saying watch the clock. Uh, another thing that I know I haven't mentioned is my damage suit. Uh, at the bottom left is a picture of me, how I'm feeling, and uh, my health, more or less. I can take six hits. That thing has six different wedges. I can take six hits before I am done for the day. And once I'm done, that's it for the day, regardless of what time of day it is. The Pikmin will carry me back to the ship. I'll head out into space to heal. And then all my Pikmin are gone. I'm pretty sure all the Pikmin are gone. Let's head back. Uh-oh. Wait, did they finish? Is that what that sound was? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, let's bring more Pikmin to finish things up. Never mind. Y'all boys, come with me. Y'all boys, come with me. We're going to go back home, get the rest of the Pikmin, and see how far, how far what else we can do out here in the world today. Like I said, it's all about time management. Just because we completed a, a goal for the day, just because we found... The ship part does not mean we can stop. No, we need to take advantage of this time as much as possible. So what we're going to do from here on out, we're just going to go out and explore the world. See what else there is to see. All right. Dope. Let's move. All right. Now, I need to keep in mind that they got to keep up with me. Where's my, where's my rosebud? Did the rosebud die? God damn it. The one with the bud died. Okay. Uh, let's break down this door. With the rest, with how long it took you guys before and how many more Pikmin we have right now, this one should be a breeze. As long as you all get to work, this one should be a breeze. I know I said I'd help out, but I, I mostly can't do anything. Like, I really can't interact with anything. I can barely damage enemies. Just barely, but that's about it. Other than that, I can't do anything. It's all about the Pikmin. It's all about the Pikmin, baby. They're actually going to work. They're actually doing this really fast for it to only be 75 Pikmin. 100? If I have 100 Pikmin and most of them are the highest level they can be, they, they, they'll kill this wall. All right, y'all boys. We're going to take the smaller one first. We're going to storm past the sleeping one. Come on. Just leave him alone. Leave him alone. Everybody move to the left side, please. Do not. Oh, shit. I guess we need to deal with him first, huh? Let's deal with him. Attack from the back. Attack from the back. He's going to shake you. Just keep going. Come on. Come on. No. Get away from his feet, you clowns. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave you guys here for just a second. Wrong button. I'm going to leave you here for just a second. Just a second, guys. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what, in some circles, could be considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might it be different from the red Pikmin? No matter, they are obviously quite similar, so I shall call this one a Pikmin as well. Okay, so this yellow Pikmin, like Olimar said, has a lot of different qualities about it. Uh, clearly, the first one you notice is that its color is different and it has ears as opposed to the red Pikmin, which don't. 
Uh, I'm specifically only using the yellow Pikmin right now because I want to get the yellow Pikmin numbers up. Uh, if I combine the two, if I have the yellow Pikmin running around with the red Pikmin, then I won't say they'll fight about where to take these pellets, but there will be a disagreement in where I want to go eventually. Uh, if more of one color is, is carrying something, that goes back to an onion, they will take it to their onion. So, for example, if we take that big enemy, if we get ready to take that big enemy back right now, they're going to take it to the red onion because there's naturally it's going to take more than one Pikmin to carry it. And I only have one yellow Pikmin at the moment. Uh, so I'm trying to get the yellow numbers up right now. What I want to do is carry that guy back to this yellow onion for several reasons. A, it's closer. A, it's closer, so it takes less time. And B, I want the yellow Pikmin to grow. I won't say more than the red ones, but I want there to be a lot more yellow Pikmin than I have right now. So I'm trying to see if we can very quickly gather them up. We don't have a lot of time. We don't have a lot of time. See, I need to see how many Pikmin it takes to carry it. Now, that doesn't mean I want only yellow Pikmin carrying that that enemy i'm gonna stop calling him that enemy i know his name is bulborb but i do want there to be more yellow pikmin than red come on y'all boys let's go to work i do want there to be more yellows than red carrying it i think i'm actually about to reach my limit on pikmin i could have in the field very shortly shit there's a red one in there see i could have sworn there was a way to change which pikmin i'm i'm currently gonna throw I might be remembering it wrong. Let's see. Yeah, it takes 10. This should be enough to bring it to the yellow. Yeah, it is. It's just enough, actually. Come on. Be quick about it, yellow Pikmin. Be quick about it. Now, I need to get these out the ground. If the day ends and these are in the ground and I decide to not come back here, they ain't going to be with me. They'll be here when I come back, but they won't be with me now. I have made yet another Pikmin related discovery. Just when the field was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field. What? Just as I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onions stopped expelling seeds, yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at one time in any area. That's just what I was saying. All right, I'm going to gather everybody up now. I do not want to lose you all on this day. Come on. And actually, I think that's the end of our day. We've actually made a lot of progress for one single day. All right, that's all of our Pikmin. Is there anything else we can carry back? Uh, I guess we can... Oh, shit. I need to... Make sure the yellows carry these. Nope, come back. Nope, come back. I could have sworn there was a way to control what color Pikmin I'm throwing next. Huh, maybe I'm thinking about another game. Let me grab you. I could just run into the group and just grab them. All right, guys, the sun is setting. We need to be quick about this. One last thing we'll do. My clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin and onions will probably enter the onions on their own. But if I don't call the stragglers and add them to my group, they will not be able to get back. I am sure that the Pikmin still planted are safe, but I am somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. This is the last thing that we need to do with this day. The yellow Pikmin have picked up some peculiar stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be instinctive to the yellow Pikmin. But just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these cracks indicate that there's tremendous power locked away within. This merits further research. Grab the rocks and let's go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Alright, as long as I've gathered all the Pikmin, they're safe. As long as they're resting beneath the onion, they're safe. 
anyone else, they are in trouble. So don't pick nothing up, y'all. Let's ride. We're just going to head back to the ship. Make this, make this a time to reflect on our day. We lost a few Pikmin in battle simply because I forgot how you fight. Oh, we could have gone to grab that. We could have gone to grab that. It's too late now. We are not grabbing it now. The countdown's about to start. There we go. No! Stop! Stop fighting! No! Leave it! Leave it! You clowns! Hi. Four, three, two, one, end of the day. All right, dismissed. Any stragglers? Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship's parts have landed in this region. If I could just recover the parts on my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that would improve my chances. Then I'd only have to press Y to locate my parts. Yet, there seem to be many hostile life forms here. If I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand in front of it, and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. All right. That's two things I actually did not know you could do. I did not know that there's a radar for this game. Like, it'll tell you where they are located on the, on the, in the world. As well as healing the, healing the damage to the suit. I just thought, you take six shots, you die. <laughs> Okay, so today we grew 113 in total. I'm sorry, today we grew 90 for 113 in total, and we lost four Pikmin in battle. <sighs> two days, two ship parts. Not bad, if you ask me. Not bad at all. 